Yeah, that's something we get asked a lot. We have uh, 30 odd years of designing and building our own in-house core flood test simulators where we take core samples, put them to reservoir conditions and run the tests and simulations that we want to know the answers from. So in the carbon capture world, it's a bit more tricky safety-wise to handle carbon dioxide. We've got to make sure we keep our staff safe. I've got to make sure that the carbon dioxide is in the right phase, dense, gas, liquid, super critical. So we've taken our in-house formation damage simulators, modified them so that they can handle carbon dioxide. That includes glove box enclosures, uh, includes exhaust outside our building so our staff are safe. And then once we, once we use them, we can carry out Everything is the same as we would for a normal study, but using carbon dioxide.